can be used alone for a natural result under I don't know why I feel nervous right now. And I think that I've been had. I have a giveaway going on right now. I will link it in the description box below. Go click on it, go to enter if you want to. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am gonna be testing out the Sampar Glamour Shot. This is it, it's made in France and it's supposed to be, well, let me just read it to you. After moisturizing, apply as a foundation by smoothing uniformly onto the face from the inside to the outside. Can be used alone for a natural result underneath makeup, powder or blush, or at any time of the day as a touch up over makeup, over makeup. This is a very interesting product. I was so intrigued by it when I was in the FabFitFun sales. I saw it in one sale, didn't get it, and then I saw it in another and I was like, I'm gonna just bite the bullet and get it. I wanna try this thing. It was 19 bucks too, so it wasn't a cheapo. Um, uh, it says attention not compatible with liquid foundation. When I was debating getting this, I couldn't find much online, but I was just so intrigued by it as a product in general. And it's made in France, so it made me feel a little fancy. But so I have not tried it yet. This will be a first impression. So I did moisturize. It says apply after moisturizing. I've been using the Derma E night cream right now, which is very nice. I think I had gotten it in a cause box. You can get it at Walmart or Target or Ulta, I believe. And it's very nice. I like it a lot. So I did moisturize with night cream in the morning. Go figure. It just occurred to me. Anyway, whose skincare routine is suffering as much as mine is during quarantine? It's weird. I'm home all the time. Why wouldn't I do it. Anyway, this is about this. I haven't tried it yet, but I did smell it and I was pretty turned off by the smell. We'll see if I still think that because when I smelled it, I was pregnant. So that could totally change. I want to try it on one side over a primer and on the other side over nothing so that you can kind of see how it might perform in different ways. The primer I'm gonna use is the Milani Soft Focus Glow. So this is a very radiant primer. This one I heard about from both Taylor Wynn and Jessica Braun. They recommend it very highly. So I'm just gonna put a little bit like here. It, like I said, it's a very, very glowy primer. And just so you know, I'm in natural light because I feel like that's the best lighting for something like this. And primarily the light's coming in at me this way. I don't really have the ability to turn totally toward the window. So I will try to remember to turn so you can see as I go through this. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this on the high points of my face because it's a very, very glowy primer. I'm just gonna use my fingers for pretty much everything in this video. So there, and then I'll put some, I think, on my forehead. Well, you know what, it's going all over because I put enough where it's going to go all over. I'm particularly curious how this is going to work on this blemish and right here my son scratched me. I'm curious if it'll even be able to cover something like that. I'm curious what kind of coverage this will have essentially is what I'm trying to say to you. So now on this side of my face, I have a very dewy, glowy primer face down. It doesn't seem to be reacting well with my moisturizer actually. You see that? I should have <laughs> equipped myself with tissue. That's probably why you don't use your night cream under your makeup. So I think that it'll be okay. It was just a little bit. It wasn't horrible, but in a couple places it did definitely ball up. So yeah, I should have planned that out a little better, but I think we're on track. And then we're just going to go in with this. Here we go. Let's see. This stuff is supposed to be one of those magic match your skin tone kind of foundations. It looks like this. So I'm thinking of that Becca one. What, what is it called? All the influencers just kind of tore that one to shreds. Okay, it's not nearly as strong of a scent as I remembered it being. So remember, this is the side without any kind of primer and this is the side with a dewy glow primer. So work from the inside outward. This is the innermost part of my face, right? My nose. I don't know why I feel nervous right now. Okay, it is, the scent is actually fairly strong as I put it on my face. Kind of reminds me of like 1980s perfumes. I don't know if you're my age or at least older so you can kind of remember what the trend was then. I'm having difficulty actually pumping any more out of this. Well, come on now. I'm filming a video. I need you to work, please. Do your part. Okay, here we go. Now we're in business. So let's see. I'm not going to be doing any kind of concealer and I'm not going to do like a full on face glam 
type look either. I did bring some bronzer and some blush into where I'm filming so that we can give it a shot, see if it needs anything else. The application is somewhat thick. It feels like half lotiony and half not sticky, but the word is not sticky. Okay, let's see if it does anything for this kind of stuff. The word is not sticky. It has like a high viscosity. If that works for any of you nerds out there. I want to see if it'll cover something like this. And then I want to put it on my eyelids. Oh yeah, I brought a mirror in with me and all I'm doing is using the finder. Okay, this is the fancy mirror. Fancy. It has two eyes. Fancy. And I got this from FabFitFun as well. It has a little light. I like it. It's a little clunky, but I do like it. Okay, so this is better. I'm gonna go this way. Doesn't do anything for something like that. I honestly feel, now that I'm looking in this, this is much more helpful. I feel like this isn't doing anything. It feels like there's nothing on my face. It also looks like there's nothing on my face. Okay, here's the side with the primer. And here's the side without the primer. I'll put in a before and after. Let's put on some more. Let's see, maybe I just didn't put on enough. I put on a lot. feels like glue. I feel like I'm rubbing glue on my face. It's the weirdest consistency. It's so odd. It does nothing for this scratch or this blemish at all. So this is definitely light coverage or no coverage. I'm like stunned, speechless. Like this did, I feel like this did zero for my face. Am I supposed to like give it time? I don't even care to like finish off the look. I feel like I don't even have, okay. If it did something, say I'm missing something here and a before and after will show me that I'm actually really well blurred, which I don't think I am. Aside from it not seeming to give me any coverage after two solid layers, it doesn't feel like there's anything on my face, which that is something that I love. I don't know, they also had a prodigal pen product which is available in the last FabFitFun sale or the last add-on sale for winter. They had a couple sales since. They had that, and I think that that was for acne. I'll correct myself across the screen. But that had, I think, some good ratings and people were into purchasing that. No one was talking about this when it was in the sale. I was just really, really intrigued by the concept. And I think that I've been had. I did bring a few things to finish up the look. I brought the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is super highly recommended, like everywhere. It's great, I do like it. It smells good, it's very subtle, but it smells kind of like half like cake, half like take me to Hawaii kind of smell. So I'll go ahead and put a little bit of it on, why not? Why not, since we're here and I'm quarantining and the baby's asleep. This is the Milani powder bronzer brush. I like it. Hmm. Okay, and then I thought I brought blush with me. Yeah, I did. Okay, here it is. So this is the Essence the Blush, and this is in the shade Befitting. And I've been kind of experimenting with putting my blush a little higher, not too high. I've seen some influencers and tutorials about blush placement talk about putting it like way up here. I like kind of in the middle. Some people like put it right on the apples. I like kind of like right here in between. I like that. I can still smell the fragrance, but it's not overwhelming me like I thought it would. I must have been just really sensitive to it when I was pregnant because when I was pregnant and I smelled it, it was like, oh my gosh, how the heck will I ever even use this? It smells like perfume from the 80s. Okay, so that's just a little bit more face product. I'm gonna put the Ilia Tinted Lip Conditioner in Arabian Nights. I've talked about this before. My parents are here and it very much looks like a tinted chapstick. So I am gonna put this on. It looks great on camera. 
and it looks great in Zoom meetings if I need to, like last minute, just put on a little lip color for a Zoom meeting. Somebody's like, hey, can you Zoom now? And I'm like, yeah, I guess so. So I will throw that on and look just a little more like I put myself together. Let's just do a little run through on an overall first impression of this. It has the scent that I can deal with. It smells a little like 1980s perfume, but it has faded. I don't really even smell it now at all. The consistency is fine. It feels a little bit like lightweight glue when I'm rubbing it on my face. It does feel like there's a nothing there and it actually kind of looks like there's nothing there. So it is extremely, extremely lightweight. So if you buy this, be prepared for it to only be slightly blurring and you'll probably want to wear it in conjunction with some other kind of foundation, although it's not compatible with liquid foundation. So I'm gonna say save your money. I feel like I've been had. That's my video. I hope you find it helpful. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Introduce yourself in the comments below. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.